evening everybody i'm going to do my nightly routine while i tell you how my day went um like always i use which ones today was memorial day weekend we had a barbecue at my uncle's house and we hadn't been there in a well, I hadn't been there in a really long time. Um, mainly because of my own fault. I would fight a lot with um, my own family members and not speak to them or anything. But my aunt, as you know, as I've shared before, my aunt passed away not too long ago, like a month and a half ago. And it was during that time that I reflected. You know, I mean, I, this has been coming for a really long time for me, specifically. You know, the whole letting things go. So I kind of, like, knew that it was something I needed to do. I had been praying to God to guide me for since like about September of last year. And I told him to take out things out of my life and to point me in the right direction. You know, and a lot of things started to happen. I started to lose people in my life. And so, It's, it's, it's funny when you think you know how the plan is supposed to go and how you think your life is supposed to be. And you find out, I need more of this. You find out that you might have a plan, but God has another, you know? And you just have to learn to adapt to that plan, you know? So, during the last year, since September of last year, when I broke down and prayed, got on my knees and was crying and everything, asking God to help me, I've been on a journey, long journey. I mean, I could say that it's been a journey that's been happening since the day I got baptized, but it's been a long journey either which one. So my uncle invited us to this barbecue and we went and you know my mother's brother and there's only a few of them left out of six there's only three. My aunt, my uncle, and my mom. So, when you start to realize, after I lost my aunt, who is one of the pillars of our family, and sunk hit ourselves, that's, it was heartbreaking. And I said to myself, I don't want to be fighting with anybody. I wrote letters to individuals who I shall not name because I wanted to bury the hatchet with everybody and my family. And during the thing, I kind of said, when they invited us, I was going, no matter what, I was gonna go. I didn't care who showed up, who didn't show up, I was gonna be there. Because I 100% believe. Alexa, lower volume. I love classical music, it's my thing, especially to relax at night. I play that or family radio. Both are worth the listen. <laughs> anyway, so I kind of like had decided myself that I did not want to hold any grudges. I wanted to let it all go and I want the joining of our families to 
join together. It's part of self-healing. It's part of self-growing. It's part of letting go of the past and starting to, to be a better person. And that's what I want to achieve. I want to achieve to become a better person, a better version of the person I was. I don't want to be that girl before that's like fighting with everybody and arguing. No, I want to let it go. Because you know what? Life is too short and I don't want to be angry. I don't want to hate anybody. I just don't. So I went to the barbecue today and I will say I haven't had that much fun in such a long time. I realized when I was on my way home I took a picture. Well, actually, I didn't take a picture. My cousin took a picture. They look horrible. It's the angle that she took the picture, but I'll forgive her because, <laughs> you know, it just happens. You know, you have to take an, a certain angle. If not, anybody looks horrible in a picture. I say this all the time. People think that anybody could take pictures, and that's not true. Anyway, we took the one picture that I did not like, but the other pictures were absolutely amazing. And I didn't take many pictures because, again, I was just enjoying the conversation and I was just enjoying the time and I was just enjoying being around family and just hearing everybody about their lives, about what's going on and stuff like that. And though the whole family wasn't there, It was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And I said to myself, as I'm coming home, and I'm looking at the pictures, and I'm saying to myself, we spend so much time arguing over things that are literally not worth arguing over. We spend so much time bickering and fighting over things that just don't matter in the end. Because in the end, all you have is your family and the love that you have for them. And once you are gone, or once they are gone, you can't apologize. You can't take anything back that you said. So... It's funny for me because it's Memorial Day weekend, which is the time that we remember the men and the women that have died for our freedom in this country, in the great United States. And I think to myself, as I'm having all this much fun, you know, and crying with some of my family members, God, I wish I could be with everybody. I wish I could be with all my family here together, right now. And even though they weren't all there, it was so beautiful. I am not a person that, I'm the type of person that closes a chapter and never looks back, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you, that's just me. I am definitely that person it closes a chapter and never looks back. I will block you. I will never pull you back once you have shown that. I just ask that as we remember the men and women that have died for our country, that you take time and remember, we're all not gonna be here forever. We're all not gonna be here forever. Tell the people you love them. Let them know, because in the end, you might not get another chance. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful Memorial Day weekend.
Don't forget about the men and women that died for this freedom.